to the breaking news this morning here in New York. The protests at Columbia University and City College of New York. More than 100 arrests in all. The NYPD saying that they are not going anywhere and they will be on the Columbia campus for more than two weeks to maintain order. All of this as graduations approaching. Meantime, City College has moved all operations online in the wake of last night's protests. Eyewitness News reporter Reagan Medji live in Morningside Heights with what we know at this hour. Reagan, what do we know? Yeah, so what we're learning is that the decision to get the NYPD involved happened yesterday morning. Uh, law enforcement, it was decided that they would be the most appropriate to execute the response that was needed. Now, the reason that everything changed was the NYPD believed that the protesters inside Hamilton Hall were not only just student protesters, that there were forces from the outside that were actually heightening what was going on here at Columbia University. So let's take a look at some video at everything changing about nine o'clock last night. It was at 845 at night last night when the city received authorization from Columbia to send NYPD onto campus shortly before Columbia's emergency management operations alerted students to shelter in place for their safety due to heightened activity on campus. Then by nine o'clock, the NYPD moved in with their helmets and shields entering the protester occupied Hamilton Hall. Now they first entered using a bear as the protesters barricaded themselves inside using furniture and locks and anything they could find to block the entrances. Now, according to police sources, once the police got inside, they deployed four so-called flashbang grenades. They did not use tear gas or any other force. They were then able to locate the protesters and start making arrests. Now, the university and police believe the group that broke into and occupied the building was led by individuals who are not students or affiliated with the school at all. Police sources tell us about 50 arrests inside the building, most not Columbia students. They are, quote, mostly professionals. There's no one else left in the building. The quad is now empty. The only thing that's left is the tents and their property, and that will all be cleared out by the school. This is the New York City Police Department. You have been warned as per City College to leave the campus. If you refuse to leave, you may be placed under arrest. Yeah, you heard that right. So as Columbia's Hamilton Hall was getting cleared, students at City College attempted to take over a school building there. Now the NYPD were called in and preventing that from happening and also making several arrests. So the decision to reach out to the NYPD was in response to the actions of the protesters and not the cause they are championing. That is a very important point to make. Now, obviously, what had to happen happened because this university is concerned about the safety of their students and they want to restore all the calm. Now, still today, we're having those restricted entry points at the college here. So in order for the students to get on campus, they have to show their ID and the tent is set up in back of me where they have to scan their IDs to get in. We're live here in Morningside Heights, Reagan Medji, Channel 7 Eyewitness News.